Hey guys, Carl here. And a quick update to the new galaxies and the old galaxies. Um, so I quickly wanted, wanted to make you aware of um, what the new galaxies are all about. So they were introduced with the latest patch two new galaxies, um, the trade sector, where every player gets one free reroll each round and the super dense galaxy, where upon reaching level five, players receive a free force of nature. So my opinion, personal opinion is in the super dense galaxy, it's a must have to rush to level five as soon as possible after the carousel, basically. Uh, if you don't go five after the carousel, um, what happens is every other player will have six units on the map and you will have four. And this causes a huge imbalance of power and you will get a lot of damage early game. And even if you're loose streaking, that's not really what you want to do. Um, so even if you're loose streaking, you don't want to lose that hard. Um, so my recommendation for the Super Dense Galaxy is push to level five directly after your first carousel on to, to stage two, three, I think, or stage two, four, one of these two. Um, and the trade sector, is all about reroll comps. So the trade sector does hugely benefits your typical reroll comps. So uh, where you would already normally stay on a specific level um, to to get many of the your units three start. So in the trade sector, one of the strongest things you could do is go for mech infiltrator, where you want to three star your Kaiser, Annie, and Sheko. Uh, you could go for the sorceress, where you want to three star the Syndra, Ari. Um, or you could go for um, the Void Brawlers, where you want to three-star basically your Shogat and your Velkos. Um, you could go for the Bang Bros, where you want to three-star your Yasuo, your Yi, your uh, Sona and your uh, Sh um, Shen. And you could go for Protector, although I wouldn't recommend it really, because Protector is not as strong as before. I think Protector... Get, get, it, just falls off in the late game and there are too many comps out there that can destroy um, your your normal protector comp so yeah also kind of protected it could work in trade sector you might want to try it out but yeah basically the comps i listed we want to go for three stars very good in the trade sector because you get that free reroll so for the other other galaxies a quick update on what i would go for so in the four cost galaxy i probably would go for either a fist because it's so beneficial you can basically try to rush um, the mech infiltrator so because you can get the uh, mech so early on if you have a fist already so you basically only need rumble and any which is not that difficult to pick up in stage two um, you will have a super good early game like the biggest problem right now is with the nerfs mech infiltrator got nerfed as well because loose streaking costs you too much hp in stage three so what you want to do now is you want to win streak your way to success, which is hard with infiltrators, but it is possible if you pick up that super mech with one or two items. Um, because also, by the way, the super mech got buffed if you don't have all of your three mech units on level two. So basically everything about this comp is better suited towards win streaking when you get the super mech. So fists for me, my personal four cost priority to get the quick super mech. Um, and my second priority is uh, a Valkos which is super huge with a new AI. He's so good. He is so freaking good and he can save you the early game. The big problem is if you don't pick up enough tiers, you can't really transition to Void Brawlers. At the same time, if you pick up enough tiers, you basically have your Void Brawlers in front of you. And then the third unit is, of course, my Shogat. I love to play early for Brawlers because it also gives you like so much tankiness and so much options to also go into Void uh, Brawler Blasters. Um, probably I would want to go into Brawler Voids and in the worst case, you can transition to something else, but still like Brawlers normally isn't too contested. So it is pretty much possible to, to go um, that, that direction. Um, yeah, and due to the changes, may, I mean, Kale, Kale, by the way, Kale is also a very good early game unit, early mid game unit that you can play that can you secure some win streaks. Um, big problem is that you also need some tankiness in front of her. So what you mostly want is um, after you pick up the Kale, you want to build some tankiness. But Kale is also a very good one, I, 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 I would say. Um, and then for the other galaxies, so um, the, the medium-sized legend galaxy, of course, again, uh, you can reroll. It is easier, again, to, to lost streak at the start of the game. 
the extra HP gives you like a, a buffer. At the same time, you don't want to lose too hard with the changes. So you need to balance it out against your lobby. You can't just open for it. You need to play intelligently. Another thing in the in the medium sized galaxy is um, that you can also reroll a lot longer than normal. So your three star units also are favored. This is why so many. I in my opinion, this is also why so many three star uh, strats are so good right now. Um, and yeah, basically uh, that's the four. And then the Nikoverse again. My personal favorite is many people try to be greedy about it and save these two to three star unit, which I think. It depends like if you feel strong in your game and you don't lose too much hp of course that's what you want to do but if you start to lose or you feel like you will build up a loss streak by doing that that will cost you a lot of hp i sometimes favor of just using these two uh nico's help to just three star one of my four costs that carries me um and basically in star guardian zorks for example it's not that necessary but for example void brawl it can give you a huge spike if you pick up like a well cost two very early on um and yeah, so so in in like the infiltrator mech in the Star Guardian Zorgs, I wouldn't use it to three star uh, to two to two star unit. Um, I would use these Nikos to three star um, my units in the uh, other comps where I want to play a four cost unit that carries me. Um, I probably would go for a quick uh, level two, so that would be uh, for example Kale or Velkos. So this is how I play the galaxies at the moment. If you want to have a more in depth guide on how to play the updated early game now with the change loss streak please leave a comment down below i hope this helped a bit um this is just a quick initial like um rolldown of these new galaxies if you want to see something more in depth where i go into one specific galaxy and maybe show off one video on how i would play in this galaxy please leave a comment because as soon as i hit that galaxy i will basically make a video of it if so you can have a look like for example how i play in super dance galaxy either way i hope it's helped um I will be back online to live streaming on bup, 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 Sunday or Monday. You can check out my latest updates on that on my Twitter feed. And I will basically, you can subscribe on my Twitter. And then you will see as soon as I go uh, online, I will send an update out and you can join my stream. So yeah, see you on the stream. If you have any questions, leave them here. Subscribe if you like the video. Leave a like. And with that, have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe and healthy out there. See you soon. Bye bye.